If you prefer lightning fast capture of your notes and tasks, if you like to perform quick search instead of creating folders and tags, and prefer seamless collaboration with your team members, then you need to check out this new and upcoming tool called MEM. Today, I'm excited to share MEM.AI, a note-taking tool with superpowers. Since I was introduced to the product over a month ago, I've used it almost every day. It's become both my go-to scratchpad, document drafter, collaborating with teams, and my home for my to-dos. MEM is the fastest way to capture and share information. It's as simple as Apple Notes, powered by a collaborative graph database. MEM will assist you to capture anything, share what you know, and also make use of the information that matters. Let's look into MEM now. MEM is the fastest way to capture and share information. A MEM is a container of information from a simple thought to a fully fledged document. So today, let me give you a walkthrough of four key components of MEM. First is fast capture. Second is seamless collaboration with others. Third is connecting information. And fourth is using what you've captured in other places. Let's get started. Your timeline is the home surface of MEM, where you can browse MEMs you've created, edited, or viewed in chronological order. Want to get back to those meeting notes from yesterday or that favorite recipe you cooked last weekend? Now it's just a scroll away. Another way to view your MEMs is through your inbox, a surface for collaboration. MEMS shared with you will appear in your inbox and you can see what MEMS others are viewing in real time. MEM helps you capture thoughts that flash through your mind in an instant with zero friction. Simply start typing to create a new MEM. This works anywhere, whether you are in timeline view or in inbox view. No worries about saving MEM. It saves as you go. You'll see that every new mem you create starts out as private in your timeline. You can format these mem using markdown or by using formatting options in the toolbar. So once you are done, you can simply close out of this mem with command enter, or you may decide to add it to your inbox as well with command S. Let's do that right now. Apart from being a surface for collaboration, you can use your inbox to curate and manage your personal workflow. You can remove from or add to your inbox or even snooze a mem for later. Let's dive deeper into how sharing and collaboration works in mem. Let's say you want to share this mem with a teammate. Sharing this mem is as easy as at mentioning another user. On the top corner, you'll now see that this mem has now been shared. Even if the teammate isn't on mem, you can at mention any person to send an email invitation to collaborate. Multiple people can edit the same mem at the same time without interrupting what others are typing. Side mems allow you to annotate and spawn off side conversations with relevant people. Highlight any text to reveal a menu on the right to add a side mem. Click add a side mem. Side mems can be posted as a comment, which will be shared with everyone shared on the original mem. Or you can even share a side mem with specific people. Finally, side mems can also be kept private for your eyes only. Now that you are getting the hang of creating and sharing mems, now I'll show you how to use search to find any mem. You need to begin search, which is lightning fast. You can access search by clicking the search bar or by using the keyboard shortcut command K. You can search for a date to be taken to a specific date and timeline. You can search for a user to see all the mems you've both been shared on 
or you can search for keywords. You may view results both in timeline and list view. Next, I'll show you how easy it is to connect information in MEM. The first way to connect information is by using linked MEMS, which are links to existing MEMS. So you can easily refer to existing knowledge. Linked MEMS are bi-directional connections that help you create traversable webs of knowledge. To use linked MEM, simply type the plus sign followed by the title of the MEM you want to reference. For example, if I have a MEM titled Acme Corp containing details about Acme, I can then link this MEM in my subsequent meeting notes with Acme. You will not only be able to access the linked MEM directly, but you will also see that MEM pulls up related information about Acme Corp so that it's accessible at your fingertips. You can even use the plus key to create and link to a MEM all in one flow. We recommend using linked MEMS to refer to existing entities like a company or a person. You can also organize your MEMS by using topic tags. So say goodbye to folders and instead use topic tags as a flexible way to add a lightweight level of organization to your MEMS. Topic tags denote a collection of MEMS and you can use topic tags by typing the hashtag symbol followed by the name of the topic. If we tag both of these MEMS with the topic tag, investor updates, let's say, they'll be grouped together and you'll see that MEM pulls up related information about the topic in the sidebar. You can use command K to search for the topic tag to view your collection of MEMS all in one place. We also recommend using topic tags to denote collections like user interviews, meetings, or diligence. You can also use more than one topic tag in a single mem. And finally, I'll show you how to use MEMS Spotlight. This is an extremely powerful tool that lets you surface information in MEM from anywhere on your computer and save anything you see directly to MEM with a single key. First, I'll show you how to reference anything in MEM through Spotlight. Pull up a different application on your computer from here and we'll activate MEM Spotlight, which is a window into your knowledge. In MEM, you can access MEM Spotlight with the keyboard shortcut, command shift space, and now we can search for anything. Every MEM that you've created, edited, or been shared on it's accessible from this universally accessible window of knowledge. For example, let's search meeting with Acme. We can even hone in on details like the agenda or when Acme was found. But that's not all we can paste this knowledge. Anywhere with the push of a button, simply hit the enter key to paste this information from MEM to wherever your cursor is in any app. You can also use Spotlight to MEM it, which means you can save anything you see directly to MEM with a single key press. So let's pull up a web page and open a MEM Spotlight with Command Shift Space. When you open a spotlight while browsing a web page, you'll see an option to save the current web page. Press enter to continue, and you will be able to save the web page to MEM, all in one easy flow. You can also mimic from any application on your computer. Just select any piece of text, open a spotlight, and you'll see an option to save selected text. So, see it? mem it the next time you open mem you'll see your memed content in your inbox or timeline i've now shown you how to use mem for fast capture to collaborate with others to connect and organize information and to make use of mem from anywhere on your computer there's a lot more of the product to be discovered so stay tuned so folks that's all for today I will leave the link to mem.ai in the description below. Sign up to get an invite from them and start playing with it. Feel free to leave your comments in the description below. 
If you like this video, make sure you press that like button. Hit subscribe if you are new to NextGen Digital. And I will see you guys next Thursday. Have a productive week.